Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we have had a long day and um, we're having lots of car um, issues. So we are gonna drown our sorrows in some ice cream. No, just kidding. We are going to taste test some ice cream for you. Um, we have Halo Top, Wink, and Arctic Zero here for you. So we're gonna give these a try and let you know what we think. Yeah, so I know being on the keto diet is challenging, especially for a lot of people just getting started. Um, not being able to eat sweets is a huge challenge for anyone on their first week because we're used to you know, being uh, eat, eating sweets our whole lives, right? So when you get on a keto diet, you're, you're trying to figure out how to fill that void. Um, we're in a lot of, um, well, Heather's in a lot of uh, keto groups on, on Facebook, and a lot of the questions arise about how to fill that void. And has anyone tried this? You have people who really don't have the right information, not knowing how um, certain uh, sweeteners work as far as like glycemic index goes. And so I think these are three good options that we've wanted to really try out. Um, Halo Top we've had before. Um, these two flavors we have not, uh, this peanut butter cup and these cookies and cream. And then these Wink, um, we've been wanting to try for a long time. Um, we have a great store. We're gonna drop the link if you're in the Chicagoland area. There's a bunch of them out here um, at, at, at this great uh, kind of uh, natural food store. And then we're also trying Arctic Zero for the first time. Um, just to kind of break down the macros here and, and, or the carbs. Um, Arctic Zeros, uh, this, this particular pint, you're looking at for a half cup, you're looking at seven grams, less two grams of fiber, and less five grams, no, really you're just looking at less fiber, so five net carbs per half cup. With these Halo Tops, as you know, they're, they're a little bit higher, so you're looking at 14 um, for this peanut butter cup, less than three grams, which is 11 grams, less the sugar alcohol, which is stevia, I believe, so, We'll actually, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt and take that out. So you're at six grams for a half cup here. Um, and then this one, the cookies and cream, you are at um, 13, you're at eight net, net grams for a half cup here. What we, we love about, and we're really hoping that Wink it works out because this store is pretty close to us. And you're looking at five grams of carb, carbs, four net, four's dietary fiber, and then one sugar alcohol, which I believe is um, organic stevia. So, I mean, I'm going to give that a zero net carb. So, we're really rooting for this one. So, we're going to go ahead and try them out. What do you want to try out first? Um, I want to try out one of these Wink. Another thing I'm excited about is these are GMO-free, all the Winks and this Arctic Zero. So, I'm excited about that too. So, let's try out dark chocolate. Awesome. And Heather's never really been a huge fan of the Halo Top anyway. She doesn't even really, I mean, she likes some of them, but um, not, a, not, not a huge fan where it's like something that she, uh, you know, kind of sets her day around. Go for it. Which one is this? This is a Wink Dark Chocolate. I'm not going to use a bowl because I think it's kind of pointless. I'm just going to scoop out of here and I'll tell you what I think. Not a fan. Ugh. It doesn't taste chocolatey to me. It tastes more like coffee. It almost tastes like a pudding pop. Like, uh, but, uh, you know, like a pudding pop. You know, I don't know if you guys remember Jello pudding pops, but a little less sweet. Not a huge fan either. Well, well, I guess it's zero carbs. You know, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you an update too because things tend to grow on me. They don't tend to grow. She doesn't usually give things a second hand. <laughs> so, all right. It's, so far, we're no for the dark chocolate wink. Let's try. We're going to try next vanilla bean. Hoping this one's better. This one smells better to me. Vanilla bean. And here's the thing too, I I, I love like, I like the vanilla bean. Yeah, with Halo Top, I don't like the chocolate either. Yeah. For whatever reason with the it's chocolate, I don't like. But I love birthday cake and the Halo Top. So this has got that kind of vanilla bean, the, the vanilla base, like a like a Halo Top uh, birthday cake would be. So hoping not. You like it a lot? I like vanilla bean. That's good. That's real good. And that is um, again zero net carbs on this Wink Vanilla Bean. Um, I paid, I went to the store $5.99 per, per pint today, so 
Good price, too. Will what? you will you pay for that? She might eat with my mouth full. I know that's rude. Um, will you pay for these when you go to Target? I think it might be a little less than five ninety nine. Okay, like five bucks maybe. Yeah, for close in price. I'm gonna break open the last week, which is the s'mores. <clears throat> See what we think of this one. I was hoping to see, mm. I was hoping to see like marshmallows. Yum. This one is my Graham favorite is out of the wink so far. Yes. And this got a little chocolate kick mm. to it, right? Love the s'mores. I'm always looking for some type of chocolate ice cream substitute. That's and what the vanilla bean looks like. I think that definitely is it for me. That was That's good. really, really good. That's very good. I like that even better than the vanilla bean. All right, so we're a yes with the s'mores. We're a yes with the vanilla bean on the winks. Um, keep in mind, no sugars on in any of these winks. And the halo tops tend to use a little bit of sugar. This, this uh, cookies and cream has six grams of sugar, and so does the peanut butter cup. So we're going to go for this Arctic Zero. Arctic Zero. Which, how are we doing on, what was that again on that Purely card? Purely chocolate. We're looking at five. We're looking at like, yeah, so we're looking at zero net carbs as well. All right. Let's give this one a try. This one, obviously they're not selling out too much because we got this at this other store, uh, Brookhaven. Um, and we got a little, uh, I don't know what do you call that, like condensation, little freezer burn in there. Freezer burn. Scoop that one. So apparently they're not either they're marketing it or they're just not selling too well from there. They sell these at Target too, don't they? They do. And this is chocolate, so we're actually gonna compare this to the dark chocolate and the wing. I like this. It says it's purely chocolate, rich fudgy chocolate, and it tastes a lot better to me than the dark chocolate on the wink. I prefer the Arctic Zero. Hmm. I'm not gonna double dip in there. Um, oh, pretty close to me. I mean, I think it's got a little bit more chocolatey um, flavor than the, the Wink does. Yeah, but the Wink definitely tastes a little more coffee-like to me. Like this might grow on me. I don't know, man. I like to give things a second chance. Um, yeah, so. I didn't like Stevia at first, but the more I ate it, I ended up starting liking it. So, um, all right. So next, we're going to go with the, the little standby, what uh, we've been eating, what, what's been our kind of go-to since we started keto. Oh, Halo dude. cookies and cream. The Halo next. top and the cookies and cream. So, Ooh, that one's just melted into. But that's like very ice creamy. How she scooped yeah. it. It just got really a lot more ice cream a look than these guys do. Because mm. uh, you know, obviously, they're not necessarily wow. ice cream. So. This is delicious. Remember this has <laughs> yeah. Well, this has <laughs> this has six grams of sugar. And these guys don't. All right, these guys don't have any sugar, right? I don't even think this Arctic Zero's got any sugar. My expectations for this Halo Top was not too high because like- Oh, Herb actually, said, Arctic Zero's got five grams of sugars. So this is actually five grams net, and it's got five grams sugar. So it almost has as much sugar as this. Yeah, I wasn't expecting much from this, but I'm loving it because I haven't liked the other flavors, but this one's delicious. That's awesome. That's the best thing we've eaten today. It is. That was fantastic. I mean, it's Halo Top. So I mean, mm -hmm. But you also got to remember, too, I don't know how good you're doing with your carbs. You got to save the carb for this one because you're looking at, you know, 13. You're looking at 8 grams pretty much net for a half a cup. So, like, sometimes I'll do a quarter cup so I'll get 4 grams so I can get my fix. Um, but not really go crazy with the carbs. But definitely a great treat for, you know, holiday, Valentine's Day like it is today or... Um, you know, birthday, something along those lines. And then this here is the peanut butter cup, Halo Top. I'm a big Reese's guy. Um, yeah. All right. So. I'll try this one out. This one actually has like little pieces of, looks like kind of like oh my peanut God. butter in there. This is phenomenal. Mmm. This See, is this incredible. Is <laughs> These are the two best things we've eaten today. But again, they have the most carbs. So, first 
For me, mm. why I've always stuck with Halo Top is because I, I, I just go with a quarter cup. I know we go with a half cup serving size, and I just oh, I do the quarter delicious. cup and cut my carbs into. So this one would be, um, you know, this one would be six, and then I actually this would be six net. So that's not bad. And then you cut. If I do a quarter cup, that's three net. So three net carbs, I get a quarter cup, and you know, watch my palate. And if me you enough. love Reese's peanut butter cups, here is your fix on the. Keto diet. Yeah, I mean, I think by far these are the best tasting things we've had today. Absolutely. I mean, this was good for just plain chocolate. I actually think this is better than Halo Top chocolate because we, we don't really like the chocolate that much. Um, and then just wing vanilla bean was very good. So if you're looking for flat, I got it eaten. And you had zero grams, gluten-free. These are awesome options. Again, just wasn't a huge fan of the dark chocolate. It really wasn't really dark chocolate. It was more like a jello pudding pop, you know. But... Uh, I don't know. I hope that helps, guys. Enjoy.